In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass, Saturday of the 31st week of Ordinary Time, Memorial of St. Martin of Tours, Bishop. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, Jesus tells his disciples, no servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or love one and hate the other. You cannot serve both God and mammon. The word mammon comes from the Aramaic root haman, which means promises or assurances, and later came to mean personal wealth. To have wealth is not inherently immoral. Having wealth, whether material or immaterial, can be an opportunity for us to share with those who are in need. However, how we use wealth can be disordered. When we become attached to wealth, seeing it as our own possession or ultimate end, instead of what it ultimately is, an entrustment, God's gift to us that we are called to give. For this reason, mammon is the idolatry of wealth. My brothers and sisters, it is necessary to have possessions. It is good to provide for our families. However, what we provide is ultimately a gift of the providence of God. The Lord is asking us to let go of the idol of wealth, both material and immaterial. And how do we do this? By giving thanks to God for his blessings. Like Our Lady, who proclaimed her Magnificat for all that the Almighty had done in her, and placing all that we are and all that we have in service of his kingdom, like her. My brothers and sisters, it is not wrong to have possessions. What Jesus wants is to make sure that they do not possess us, because our hearts belong to him. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. Let us use all of our human resources, gifts, and talents to spread the reign of the Immaculate throughout the whole world, to bring many children to her maternal heart, and through her, the Eucharistic heart of her Son, who is the true wealth and ultimate gift of God to the human person. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.